Fears are growing of a bloody revenge attack after the funeral of Christmas Eve gun victim Jason Hennessy, the father of six was buried last weekend in an incredible Hulk-themed funeral which was attended by hundreds of friends and family. Three busloads of public order Garda were brought in along with armed support units to patrol the area during the service which featured a green coffin inscribed with the words the boss man and a green recovery truck. We look into the ongoing fallout from the murder of Hennessy and the killing of gunman Tristan Sherry in a crowded steakhouse. As violence erupted in Cordiff in Dublin in late 2018, Garda identified Jason Hennessy Sr. as a key player in a dangerous gangland feud. That criminal dispute resulted in shots being fired outside a school in the area on one occasion and an open gun battle in a cold de sac between warring factions of the organized crime group. There were stabbings, beatings and even a machete attack at Finglas Garda Station in 2019. The man who attacked a member of the rival drugs gang with the machete in broad daylight was given a three-year sentence in May 2022. At his sentencing hearing, Detective Sergeant Damian Mangan said that the assault was one of more than 70 incidents related to an ongoing feud between two drugs gangs in Finglas and Blanchardstown. Both groups have committed assaults, carried out petrol bombings and fired shots at the homes of rivals. The feud ignited in the wake of a split of an organized crime group that Hennessy was aligned with. Sources believe that the rift occurred because of a clash of personalities and greed. The original gang comprised of families which split down the middle both sides turned their tendencies to violence on each other in the turf were over drug-dealing territories. At the time, Dublin was in the midst of more than a dozen feuds including the Hutch Kinahan mayhem and also some overflow from the deadly Drogheda gangland crimes. Other factions were also fighting in West Dublin, Ballafermont and Tallet, while there was some violence in South County Dublin linked to incidents in Bray, Co Wicklow. The West Dublin area has always seen a number of criminals in charge of various patches with the best power brokers making the most money. Key developments in 2018, including the shooting dead of drug dealer Eric Fowler, moved Hennessy into an unexpected position of power as violence broke out between other players in Blanchardstown. Separately, there were disputes between smaller operators and the so-called Gucci gang in Finglas and their leader known as Mr. Flashy. There was also violence between two factions in the Whitestown area of West Dublin in which an innocent man was killed while tending his pet pigeons in a case of mistaken. Previously, Hennessy had been an ordinary worker not known to Garda, but his warring factions continued to concentrate on violence toward each other. Hennessy was able to move in and start dealing, according to a source who has dealt with gangland crime in the area. All that feuding and Garda activity just opened the door for Jason Hennessy Sr. and his cronies to move in and start dealing, but unlike other criminals, he had no great business acumen or knowledge of how to run his operation. He was just a violent bully, one tactic he used was handing out beatings to people who owed him money for unpaid drugs. From 2018, Garda in nearby Blanchardstown put a plan in place to shut down the court of feud and they raided a number of houses on multiple occasions, brought armed units in to respond to shootings, and established a task force to focus attention on the gangs. The community action team CAD was tasked with stopping and searching the Hennessy's along with other criminals. More broadly, Garda also carried out searches across the area including in ditches near the Sport Ireland campus during which guns and ammunition were found, along with drugs and vast quantities of cash. The investigation centered around the leadership of Patriarch Hennessy Sr. In one search in 2021, detectives along with specialist firearms Garda arrived at Hennessy Sr.'s door in Cordiff, and in the course of that interaction, he launched a tirade of verbal abuse against the investigators. He was brought before Blanchardstown District Court where he was fined 150 euros. The Sunday World reported in 2022. Sources have said that his involvement in the drugs trade never ended, and while it was not as organized as other criminals in the area, he was still making a solid living from it. Drug dealing is a cash-rich business, and making those earnings look legitimate is a major issue for criminals. Hennessy Sr. struggled with it and it caught him out because the guards had charged him with money laundering. He was due to go on trial for that offense. Close friends of Jason Hennessy have said. Hennessy had come from nearby Finglas and worked in a breakdown recovery business before turning to crime. He had an interest in boxing, but was not a talented fighter. While it is now apparent that he was shot and killed by Tristan Sherry in Brown's restaurant on Christmas Eve, Sherry had previously tried to kill a relative of Hennessy Sr. Now three men are before the court for the alleged murder of Sherry. The death of Jason Hennessy Sr. leaves a vacuum that the rest of his gang may not be able to fill. Sources said there are fears that the Christmas Eve shooting may lead to more bloodletting as other gangs move in on what was Hennessy territory. 